Hey guys, and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And if you haven't heard about this game, it's a really cool game, and I don't know how you haven't heard about it if you have YouTube. Because people are playing this all over the internet, it's a really good game. So, I, I've already completed the normal mode, as you can see here. We might do that another time, but, like, have me redo it. But for now, we're going to mess around with the sandbox. So, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to pick all these units from these places. We've got Vikings, Crusaders, Greece, Asian, Napoleon, and Misc, I think. Miscellaneous, I think it stands for. So, we've got all these things. My favorite section is actually is miscellaneous because there's lots of cool things here. Like, there's super boxers. How about first battle we're going to do is just going to be simple. How about we see how many boxers for this first episode it will take to take out a super boxer? This might not be the full episode because I don't know how much it's actually going to take. Let's go with two first. This is going to these these boxers are going to get massacred and dead. Okay, super boxer totally destroyed them. Let's go with a lot of boxers. How about that many? This one just fell out of the tree. And let's see. It seems like super boxers doing pretty good taking them out. Oh my goodness. Look at the super boxer, it's just destroying everyone. <laughs> what is that sound? Uh, it looks like the boxers might be getting massacred by the super boxer. You're punching him backwards, dude. What the heck? Do you see that thing punching him backwards? Anyways, um, there's one boxer left in there. Coming in circles, but it looks like this boxer is going to catch the super boxer. And this might be a very big mistake. Oh, there's another one. And Super Boxer 1. Not surprisingly. Okay, now let's put down lots of boxers. We've already reached uh, 1500 or $2,000 worth of Super bo of Boxers. And let's see. Which one would be more worth it? To get a ton of Boxers or one Super Boxer? That are, okay, almost the same amount of money. I kind of messed up and added... Like one more, but that one more is not gonna make much of a difference. And let's see which one's more worth it. Three thousand dollars worth of boxers or one super boxer which is three thousand dollars. Which one would be more worth it in a battle situation? Looks like things are going pretty well for the super boxer so far. I'm not sure how this is gonna end up. Sounds that these guys make, they're just ridiculous. Smack them! Smack them in the face! Die off! Just ninja their face! Ninja their face! Oh, by the way, on the time that I'm recording this, it's actually New Year's Eve, so, well, I hope you guys are having a fun time in 2017. Because right now it's, two, it's 2016, December 31st. And the time I'm recording this is probably gonna be posted on 2017. Beat the tar out of him! Beat the tar out of him! Oh, well, by the way, guys, um, the big time that I've been missing for, um, in between my uh, dinosaur video on Roblox and before and the video before that, um, the reason I took such a long break is because it's been hard for me to actually continue doing videos daily. Eventually, it got boring, so I. Don't expect videos daily, but maybe expect them like every two days or something like that. Anyways, it looks like the boxers beat up the super boxer. So if you're ever in this kind of situation where you can buy the super boxer, then don't buy the super boxer because it's better to just buy three thousand dollars worth of boxers because, well, you kind of just got destroyed by them. Anyways, let's clear this up and see. Here, here's the most powerful entity in the game: the dark peasant. Two super peasants equals one dark peasant. So, if you had enough money to buy a dark peasant, which should you buy? Two super peasants or one dark peasant? I think I know the answer to this one. Is one dark peasant? Yep. Just look at that. They get totally destroyed. Oh my goodness. 
third peasant. You totally massacred him. Anyways, let's put down a ton of super peasants and see can they even take out the super I mean the dark peasant. How about a hundred thousand dollars worth of super peasants versus two thousand dollars worth of actually no twenty thousand dollars worth of dark peasant because that's how much money it is to get in the first place for one. So this is a ton of super peasants, one hundred thousand dollars worth of them, and twenty thousand dollars worth of this guy. Let's see how this goes. Oh my goodness! Oh man! I've, oh, they're flying in his face! Beat up the dark peasant! I have never managed to see these super peasant actually ever kill the dark peasant. So let's see if this can actually be the first time I see that. Because in all the videos I've watched of this. That's really active I mean, I have never seen super peasants kill a dark peasant. <laughs> They're just walking through the air like dirt. <laughs> That's fun. Anyways, um, what's happening? It's kind of hard to see with all these spikes in the way. Oh, anything going on? Is the dark peasant almost dead? It doesn't look like it. He looks, he's like, he looks like he's doing fine. Looking evil as heck, but <laughs> that happened. I got thrown in the air by his own spikes, I think. Actually, what is even happening right now? The the super peasants might push him off the edge of the map. That might be how they win by pushing the dark peasant off the edge of the map. It'd be quite a way to win because the edge of the map is right over here. And if you fall off that, you are not coming back. It's like falling off the edge of the universe. You see, if you fall off the edge of the universe, you're not coming back anytime soon. What the where the heck did he go? Oh, there he is. My goodness, this is insane. Look at those line of spikes. Oh my goodness. And I hear that in the in the ne next update, there's already videos of this because people got really access to it. Um, in the update that's coming up after this one, apparently the super peasant is even more strong, which I can't even imagine. Hello, dude! Actually, yeah, I have seen gameplay of him in the next update. He does fly. He flies around, throwing things around. I don't even know how you kill him. I don't know how you would kill a super peasant. I mean, a dark peasant with any entity when he's flying around like Superman, throwing you around like a ragdoll. Where's the dark peasant? There he is. Oh, yeah, he's extremely close to the edge of the map. It's right here. They could push him off the edge if they really tried. See, so he's just a pit of death. What, that game glitching? The game is glitching! Okay, okay, that's something like Anyways, look at this. Just death. Look at this guy. He's stuck on the tree. Dude, what are you doing? You're stuck. Dude, dude, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> Looks like you're about to do limbo. Are you trying to do the limbo? Looks like it's he has bending his back. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but that was fireworks. Yep, that is proof that it's New Year's! Mm, yay! That's pretty cool. Like, just, like this guy's stuck. Is the super pest- I mean, is the dark person ever gonna find him? It, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference for the dark peasant to be winners with just one more super peasant stuck on a tree. So I'm declaring this a win for this dark peasant. I don't know how he did that. But I know there's an entity in here that can kill him easy. And its name is Ballista. One Ballista might be able to take out this guy. Look at this. This is so impressive. Boom! Shot in the face, he's down, and then BANG! He's dead. The Ballista is by far the strongest hitting entity in the game. Being able to take out the Super Peasant, I mean Dark Peasant, in two shots. It doesn't actually have any stats on how strong he is, but it's pretty crazy. 
So let's continue on to the next thing here. How about ninja? Let's see how many ninjas, if a ninja can take a ninja master. I'm guessing ninja master is probably going to win this. Like, almost definitely going to win this. Oh! Oh! Oh, this actually might be close. I'm not even kidding. Oh, no. Super. The ninja master beat the ninja. Not very surprising, is it? Anyways, let's do some more ninjas. That truly that many ninjas can take out this guy. Maybe I'm just underestimate, un underestimating the power of the Ninja Master, but I'm not sure. Maybe he can do this. He's got shuriken with him. It looks very painful. Are you doing good? I don't think he's doing very good. I think he's probably gonna die. And yep, he's dead. He is very much dead. Okay then. A super. I mean, the Ninja Master was destroyed by just a few of these ninjas. That tells you it's probably more worth it to just buy some ninjas. Seven hundred dollars worth of ninjas. Okay, that's good. Seven hundred dollars worth of ninjas than it is to just get the Ninja Master. In fact, I found proof when I was playing this before. The Samurai Master, which is $500, compared to the Ninja Master, which is $700. The Samurai Master is actually stronger. Look at this. We're fighting. And just look at this. If that Samurai Master gets to that ninja, he's dead. And see, look. $200 does dollars. $200 more dollars for someone that's less powerful. That just doesn't make any sense. Maybe you get them for long range stuff. I can see how they'd be good. Oops. Oops. Messed up the recording. Nope. Dang. Dang it. <coughs> Guys, I am so sorry. The recording died. And the game kind of freaked out. You saw that before? Yeah. I made it the screen big accidentally, I don't even know how I did that. And it was on medium sized screen, so it stretched it out like crazy, and kind of broke the recording. And the game crashed afterwards. So yeah, as you can tell, this definitely is early access. There are still bugs. And here's two entities that I don't even know, why the heck are these in the game? I'm not even going to use them, because they're... Why? I don't even understand why they're in the game. It's ridiculous. Anyways, here's another really strong entity called the Chicken Man Man. Very deadly. But, here's the thing. Why is the normal Chicken Man here? Here's the four of, the, here's the four of these. This much money right here is how much it would take to get one of these. I know who's going to win this fight. Yes, there's chickens. These guys poop out chickens, and they fight them. And this guy poops out people that poop out chickens. So, I don't even know why. <laughs> what are they? What kind of crazy people came up with the idea for this thing? Seriously. Why is this a thing? A guy that poops out people that then poop out chickens. Oh, by the way, I'm new. I did this because um, four of these chicken man man right, chicken man right here is how much it takes to get four of these guys equals one of those guys. So why would you ever 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 use the chicken man? That's my question. Why would you ever use the chicken man? This doesn't make no sense, man. The blue team won by a mile. These guys have no chance. So yeah, I don't know why that's a thing, but okay then. Anyways, let's do. Surprisingly, in this in this game, there is these entities that are called um. What are they? Napoleon, maybe? Yeah, barrel rollers. They're only three hundred dollars. 
But if you use this many of them, you could probably take out an army or something. Like, let's say Vikings. How about this many Vikings versus this many barrel rolls? Dead. Totally massacred. Actually, I guess I did so, use so much more money on the barrel rollers. <laughs> barrel rollers. What happened to my voice there? That was weird. How about the same amount of Viking versus the same amount of barrel rollers? Okay, barely any more Vikings. Okay, so let's see. Okay. What if I put one more entity back here? Like, um, this. Just a farmer. Which won't make much of a difference. You guys just wave them through the fire. Okay, looks like we do need. It looks like this is gonna lose. Unless there's somehow a farmer does take him out. Which would be a little. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure how long I've been recording. Um, let's say about 14 minutes. I'm not sure how I'm right there. But I'm going to record for a bit longer, and then I'm going to end the video. Almost the end. So what should we mess around with next? How about four peasants versus one boxer? Four peasants. One boxer. Let's see. Is it worth buying four pistons over one boxer? Probably the boxer are gonna win this. I'm just saying. The same amount of money I use. Never mind. The peasants clucked them in the back of the head. Oh, the peasants won somehow. Okay, now it's time to see which one is more worth it to buy a ninja. Or eight peasants. I think I know the answer to this. But I thought I knew the answer to the last one. I was wrong. I'm thinking the peasants are going to lose against the ninja. But let's see. Go ninja! Nin no, no, oh, no. Okay, the peasants won. The peasants won. So let's continue on. Let's see Asia. Yeah, let's go with sa two samurai masters. Let's find an entity that's a thousand dollars. Um, like Chicken Man. Chicken Man versus two samurais. Same amount of money. Who's more worth it? I'm guessing samurais. Yep. Um, the you guys heard the guy. The guy is kind of dead. Just a little bit dead. How about M16 versus Chicken Man? Oh, yeah, the uh, Chicken Man won. Even though, I mean, the Chicken Man lost. But even, let's see, two Chicken Man versus. Actually, no, how about three Chicken Man versus the M16? I'm gonna go with the Chicken Man in this case. And the reason I'm going to go with the Chicken Man is only. The M16 actually has extremely low HP. If I go to here, it only has a hundred, a hundred eight feet. You look at the M16 stats, and that gives them a really big disadvantage to the chickens being able to poop out of them and launch at him. So I'm thinking the winner of this is going to be the chicken man. Oh, oh, oh! Just chickens attack, Ch the attack of the killer chickens. Yep, the M16 dies dead to three chicken men. Chicken Man would it be? Chicken Man. I think it would be Chicken Man. Okay, how about two thousand dollars worth of cannons versus um two thousand dollars worth of Chicken Man? I don't know why I'm using Chicken Man. Well. Okay, the Chicken Man just got totally destroyed. Once again, going with my factor. Why would you ever use the Chicken Man? And, okay, how about headbutters? Headbutters! Prove that the cannons are worthless! Prove that the cannons are- Okay, the cannons are not worthless. The cannons are opposite of worthless. 
No, the cameras are killing each other. Come on, headbutters. Smack your head against the middle. Okay, yeah, the headbutters are gonna die. If there's one left versus two cannons. If the. Oh, yeah, the headbutter. Yeah. He, he bashed his head against it so hard that he broke his skull. <laughs> I think that's what happened there. Because he just bashed his head without the cannon even hitting him. And he died. He died by bashing his head against metal. That'll do it. But is two thousand dollars worth of headbutters better than two thousand dollars worth of cannons? Headbutter army versus four cannons. I'm thinking the headbutter army's gonna win. Yep, I think the headbutter army got this. Yep, his head. They're bumping all their heads against the cannons, and yep, the headbutter. Okay, how about? Um, hmm, actually, to, to set up that it's almost 2017, let's do this. And this is going to be how we end the video. The big 2017. Because it's the end of the year. And it's almost 2017. My mom just came downstairs. In the middle of my video. Everybody boo her in the comment section. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's giving me the stink eye. Okay, looks like that's uh, where we're gonna end the video. With the fight of 2017, literally, I put peasants down to spell out 2017. And it's noisy. And this is gonna be how we end it with a big 2017 right here. To celebrate the new year. This is probably going to be posted when it's already 2017, but right now, it's not quite 2017 for me. So, it's time for me to say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. That was a goodbye from my mom. Everybody say bye to my mom. Bye, mom. I, <laughs> mom! Bye, everybody.